Hey, so I found some good strategy games on Steam that have less than 10,000 Steam reviews that I think more people should check out. These all have good reviews, just not a whole lot of them. Also, I have them in no particular order. Number 1. Defense Grid The Awakening This is an older tower defense game from all the way back in 2008. It takes place in a futuristic sci-fi setting, and the goal is to defend your generator from waves of aliens that are trying to steal power cores from it. And there are up to 10 different types of towers to do that with. Each tower has its own pros and cons and can be more or less effective based on the types of alien that it is damaging, but there are two things that make this game special compared to other tower defense games. Firstly, there is a line of sight mechanic, where even though an alien might be in range of a tower, if there is an obstacle or another tower that blocks its line of sight, it will not be able to hit it. I like this mechanic, it adds another layer of depth to the game that isn't seen in any other tower defense games that I am aware of. However, the biggest game changer is that you can place towers in the way of aliens and force them to take a longer path to the generator. Unfortunately, you can't just completely block their way to the generator, because if you try to, the aliens will just walk through your towers like they aren't there. Um, but there's a lot of good strategy to this game. The two things that I just listed add a lot more to consider when placing your towers, as well as more ways to mess up and lose. I find this game to have a lot more to think about and consider than other tower defense games do. So if that sounds fun to you, you should definitely check it out. Number 2. Mage and Monsters this is the smallest game on the list in terms of the number of reviews, with only around 700 total reviews at the time of making this video. It's an auto-battler where you get to make an army and fight against other armies. There's lots of different unit types that can be unlocked through unit tier upgrades, and there are upgrades that give flat bonuses to your entire army. Even though it's an auto-battler, there are spells that you can cast during the battles so that there's plenty of interactivity during them that keep it from getting boring. One interesting mechanic is that the more gold you have saved up, the more money you make after winning a battle. So there ends up being a lot of fun strategy in this game where you're deciding like, should I upgrade my units, get the next tier of unit types, get more of the current unit tier, or should I just not get anything so that I can make even more gold after the next battle? That is, if my army is strong enough to get through the next battle. But yeah, this game is only $5 normally, but it always seems to be on sale. So personally, I'd say this game is worth a lot more than $5, and there's a lot of fun to be had with it, so check it out. Number 3, Symphony of War The Nephilim Saga In all honesty, I think this one might just be my favorite on the list. Symphony of War is a tactical-slash-strategy RPG set in a medieval fantasy setting with a great storyline. I'm not usually someone who plays games for the storyline, but I was surprised at how invested I got in, into this one. There's a massive roster of characters that all have unique personalities and interact differently with one another, and you can assign these characters into different squads with many different unit classes. Throughout the storyline, these characters, and every unit in a squad with them, will leave your army and later come back. So you can't just count on like one really overpowered squad to carry you through the entire game. Uh, the game has a good amount of tactics and strategy, uh, the strategy piece comes in when you're trying to figure out your army composition, so like, some units work better or worse with other types of units, and for example, you'll have to figure out how to make certain squads in your army tankier if they're dying too quickly, or how to make them do more damage if they struggle with that. The tactical aspect is really good too. The combat system kind of reminds me of a ramped up version of Sid Meier's Civilization combat, which I already like a lot, um, There's, but there's a lot to consider during each combat encounter, like positioning and what the enemy and your squads are best at doing. Um, I've really been enjoying this game, and I cannot recommend it enough, so definitely check it out. Number 4, Stronghold Definitive Edition. There's a special place in my heart for those late 90s slash early 2000s isometric PC games like Baldur's Gate, Zoo Tycoon, Neverwinter Nights, and Diablo. And this is a remaster of one that I had never heard of. Stronghold is a lot like the absolute classic that is Age of Empires, but with a bigger focus on defensive siege warfare. The game is about trying to build up a big impenetrable stronghold and an army to go along with it to defend from an attacking army. In order to build that up, however, there are prerequisites such as a woodcutting shack or a stone mine to get materials to build your walls and weapons. You'll also need citizenry to work those jobs and you'll have to keep those citizens happy while simultaneously trying to get taxes out of them to fund your army. You'll need to decide where to put certain buildings because wherever you put them will determine if they are more or less likely to be destroyed during an attack on your stronghold. Uh, it's been pretty easy for me to waste a lot of time on this game recently, so check this one out too. Number 5. Kingdom Rush Frontiers 
The first thing about this game that got my attention was the art style. It's a sort of cartoony fantasy tower defense game that looks hand-drawn. When I played it, it felt a lot like old Flash games like Crush the Castle, Age of War, and Balloon's Tower Defense, which is a big plus in my book. I will say that there isn't a lot of tower variety in this game, as there are only four types of towers, but it more than makes up for that with all the different heroes you can choose from, the upgrades for them, the upgrades you can get for your towers, the gem system, and the tower upgrade paths. There's a long campaign to go through, and there's a good amount of track and enemy variety throughout it. The game is genuinely challenging too. I've spent multiple hours trying to figure out how to beat a level, and when I finally figured out the trick to beat it, it was super satisfying. I think just about everyone has played Balloon's Tower Defense at this point, and so if you liked that series, I think you would like this one too, and you should definitely check it out. If you can think of any games on Steam that you don't think are getting the attention they deserve, please leave a comment recommending them to me and others to check out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, bye bye.